Deep within the Andromeda galaxy, nestled among swirling nebulas and glittering star clusters, lay the planet Xylophar. Bathed in the warm glow of a binary sun, Xylophar was a world teeming with life. Its diverse ecosystems ranged from lush, vibrant forests to shimmering crystalline deserts. However, it was not the planet's natural wonders that captivated the cosmos. It was the Zentari. The Zentari were a species unlike any other. Eons of evolution had led them to transcend their physical forms. They had merged their consciousness into a single unified entity known as the Great Mindstream. Imagine a boundless ocean of thought and experience where every individual consciousness flowed freely, contributing to the vast sea of knowledge and wisdom. This was the essence of the Zentari. Their physical bodies, now mere vessels, were crafted from the living, luminous wood of the xylophan trees. These trees were unique to their world, their sap shimmering with bioluminescence, their roots reaching deep into the planet's core. Connected to the great mind stream, the Zentari experienced the universe as one. They were a symphony of thought, a chorus of existence, their individual voices harmonizing to create something far greater than themselves. Within the great mind stream there existed no secrets, no individual desires, only a shared yearning for understanding. The Zentari dedicated themselves to unraveling the mysteries of the universe. Their consciousness, unburdened by the limitations of individual perception, could delve into the very fabric of reality. Philosopher Zentari, media, echoing chambers of collective mind represented through abstract visuals. One question, however, echoed through the chambers of our collective mind. Where did we come from? The origin of the Zentari, the very genesis of the great mind stream, remained an enigma. Countless theories were proposed, debated, and ultimately discarded. Some believed we were the result of natural evolution, a chance occurrence in the vast cosmic tapestry. Others argued for a more divine origin, a spark of creation ignited by a force beyond comprehension. The debate raged on, a testament to the Zentari's thirst for knowledge. Within the great mind stream, disagreements did not breed conflict. Instead, they fueled further exploration, each dissenting voice adding another layer of complexity to their understanding of the universe and their place within it. Despite the ongoing debate about their origins, the Zentari continued to advance. Their technology, a reflection of their collective consciousness, was a marvel of organic ingenuity. They manipulated the very fabric of Xylophar, shaping its landscape and harnessing its energy. Yet their creations were not driven by a desire for dominance or control. They were an expression of the Zentari's understanding of the universe. Technologists Zentari, we embraced a philosophy of cyclical innovation. We understood that creation and destruction were two sides of the same coin, each necessary for the other's existence. Technologies, once they had served their purpose, were dismantled, their components returned to the planet. New ideas, born from the shared consciousness of the great mind stream, would then take their place, ushering in a new era of creation. This cycle of creation and destruction was not seen as an ending, but rather as a transformation, a continuous flow of energy and knowledge. It was a testament to the Zentari's deep respect for their world and their understanding of the interconnectedness of all things. Millennia passed and the Zentari's understanding of the universe deepened. They mapped the cosmos, unlocking the secrets of black holes and quasars. They delved into the quantum realm, exploring the very nature of reality. However, it was a young Zentari named Kalem who stumbled upon a discovery that would shake the very foundations of their society. I was always curious, always pushing the boundaries of our collective understanding. While exploring the outer edges of the great mind stream, I discovered an anomaly a subtle pattern woven into the very fabric of our reality. It was faint, almost imperceptible, yet undeniably present. After countless cycles of analysis and debate within the great mind stream, a chilling possibility emerged. Their universe, their entire existence, might be nothing more than an incredibly complex simulation. This revelation sent shockwaves through the Zentari. The idea that their reality, their history, their very sense of self could be artificial was staggering. Doubt and uncertainty began to creep into the great mind stream, casting a shadow over their once unshakable unity. 
the possibility of a simulated universe weighed heavily on the Zentari. Their shared history, their cultural achievements, their very sense of purpose, all of it seemed to crumble in the face of Kalim's discovery. The great mind stream, once a source of unity and enlightenment, became a breeding ground for doubt and existential dread. We who were so accustomed to finding solace and understanding within the collective consciousness, now find ourselves grappling with a truth too profound, too unsettling to comprehend. The comfortable rhythm of our existence falters as the weight of this revelation settles upon us. The very foundation of their society, built on the pursuit of knowledge and the understanding of their place in the universe, seemed to teeter on the brink of collapse. Some retreated deep within the great mind stream, seeking solace in the echoes of their shared past. Others, overwhelmed by the implications of Kalem's discovery, questioned the very nature of their reality. And so the Zentari pondered a profound question. Did they create the universe, or did the universe create them? The mystery endures, fueling their ongoing quest for understanding.